Hi guys, this is Sarah. I'm the Real Simple Mama and we're going to do sort of a silly video today. Introducing you to my chickens because I keep getting asked by people what breeds do I have and what are their names and how old are they. So I figured we'll do just a little meet the chickens here of Jurassic Park here in the flock of Real Simple Mama. Um, my furry flock, that's Sadie. Sadie! It's my sweet dog who I adopted and she's 13. She's a blue healer mix. That's Einstein or Einie. He's my corgi. He's, gosh, she's probably 15. So there's the dogs and let's go talk about chickens. So this video is probably not going to be particularly educational if any of them can be considered educational. But we're just going to talk breeds. We're going to talk about, you know, their age, where I got them, all that kinds of stuff. So if you care about my little flock, feel free to watch. And if not, you know, I was told when I first got chickens, you know, I wanted to, I think I told you guys this before, I wanted to have like a first aid kit. So like, tell me like the medications and the types of bandages and all the kinds of stuff that I should have, you know, for chickens. And somebody told me they were like, well, the best thing you can do is just get a bucket or a stool. And I was kind of like, what? Why, what, why do I need a gigantic bucket? And I'm thinking like, you know, these huge complex answers. And it was like, oh, just so you can sit and watch your chickens. So it's good on a regular basis. So just hang around. Watch your chickens doing chicken stuff. Speaking of weird chicken stuff, I got a fairy egg today. Look, that's so weird. I am going to do a video eventually about weird kinds of eggs. This is a teeny, teeny, tiny chicken egg. I mean, there's the size of the other eggs of my girls. And this one, I have no idea where it came from or what the deal was with that. You usually see that with new layers, like, you know, as their new system is getting started and they will lay a little one like oh hey cool like my engine kind of knows what it's doing now so i have no idea why i got that because these are old birds right chee -chee -chee -chee. i see four there's five all right so i'm hoping that maybe they'll come to me and if not i may have to bribe them but we're just going to talk about our little story and and meet the chickens so we'll talk about <clears throat> this one first the black one in the middle of your screen that's Calypso. I call her Callie or Callie Girl or Callie Bird. Uh, each of my birds has like six nicknames. She's the only one who I've had since she was a chick. She is a black sex link. And I didn't think of that name, but they're called sex links because they're basically a, a hybrid breed that you can basically sex them from hatch because the males and the females will actually have different coloring. So it's really easy to tell whether or not you get a rooster that you didn't want, for example. So she is a black sex link. There are gold sex links. There are, are different sex links. So those are usually, you know, they're, they're decent layers. They're, they're pretty hardy. Um, hey, woman. This one's kind of a bitch, as you can see. She's my alpha. She has always been extremely independent, extremely like, I'm not scared of nothing. I don't really care about this whole flock mentality. I'm going to go do what I want. So she would kind of like play by herself and stuff when she was a chick. So maybe she's like kind of a goth. I don't know. So the next two, <laughs> God, she's going to come in the middle of the shot and like poop for you guys. Thanks, Lace. The next two, the black and white ones are Lacey and Gracie. And Lacey is the one closest to you. She's my big girl. And she is a silver laced Wyandotte. Wyandotes are the ones that I've had the biggest problem with um, them becoming overweight. Um, I lost my original silver laced Wyandotte who I had hatched. Um, I lost Dottie last year and so I'm keeping an eye on her because she is also overweight but my other chickens are not so it's just something I don't know with South Texas with this breed but there are different kinds of Wyandotes they're called laced because if you look at them up close their feathers look like they have a lace pattern on them and she's just absolutely beautiful she's super sassy my lace is very she's all dirty she's been dust bathing a lot And this is Gracie. Gracie is a barred rock. Here's the spelling. Another really hardy, really standard breeds. Um, I would love to have like weird or, you know, like unique breeds. But right now, you know, these are just good all around, heat tolerant, good layers, good disposition type of breeds. So Gracie was going through a terrible molt when I got her and she's never fully recovered. So her tail looks kind of ridiculous. And then the last two that I have, that's Flopsy, the light brown one. She's the one who has had all of the medical problems, who we went, you know, and did x-rays and all kinds of other stuff. She's pretty much as recovered as she will be, but she will act like she's panting all the time when the other ones are not. And then my dark brown one, this one right here, that's blue. 
And I'm trying to keep those the sun rays out of your face. Blue is my other Easter egg or slash Americana, which is another mutt breed. There are hundreds and hundreds of chicken breeds. Um, but these are called Easter Eggers because in their DNA, these brown girls, these two brown girls, in their DNA, they will lay either green or pink or blue eggs. So they're called Easter Eggers, but they're just another mutt. They are the ones who were very, very thin when I got them. And blue, when I got her, had double bumblefoot, which is super fun. Bumblefoot is basically like a staph infection that they get in their foot because, I mean, they're chickens. They're digging around all day in the dirt. Um, but chickens hide their injuries. They hide their wounds and their illnesses. And so I had to treat like this feral bird who was terrified of everything, but now she's really chill. So you'll notice different breeds um, have a different comb and waddle pattern. Um, there are chickens who have feathered legs. There are some chickens who will have an extra digit on their feet. Flopsy and especially Blue, if I can get her to come out, they have beards or muffs. But all of my girls are about two and a half, maybe just a little bit under two and a half. I know Calypso is two and a half because she was hatched in April. So I could do the math for her. The other four, I actually got at different times, but I got from the same person who her husband was PCSing out of the state and they were like, man, we can't take all these chickens with us. So I got Lacey and Gracie together in July of 2018. And then I got Flopsy and Blue in September of 2018. Yeah. You are a brat. And so all of these chickens, are the standard layers um, they'll lay different e colored eggs calypsos are light brown gracies are the darkest brown that i have and then lacy's also are light brown lacy is also not a, a very good layer um, for wine dots i think they're absolutely gorgeous but as far as chicken quality <laughs> she probably gets the lowest rating <laughs> sorry lace she's like what and she looks filthy because she's been dust bathing in wet mud or wet dirt, I guess. Wet mud is redundant, but. They're all good, they take care of each other. There is an obvious pecking order. I have videos about that and about bullying hens and stuff like that. They're about, probably all about two, two and a half years old. And these different breeds, the normal age, they'll live in, between three and five years old. I mean, some people have had chickens that have lived over 10 years, so it just kind of depends. There's Blue's magnificent beard. Hi, Bluebird. It's the end of the day now. You can tell that all of their, their crops are pretty full because they've been eating. Right, girls? But if you pay attention to your chickens, you'll learn all kinds of little idiosyncrasies about each of them. I know they're wanting to hop up on the stool because I've never brought it in here. I normally just sit on the tire. What is that, girl? I know. But they all have different voices. They all lay eggs of different colors. They all have little... Things like Blue's the only one who's not crazy about the black soldier fly larva. Lacey is the one who loves treats. Calypso's the alpha, so she's first down in the morning and first, or I'm sorry, and last up at the end of the night. You see, she's like the camp counselor, you know, she's always checking on everybody. Gracie is super chill unless you try to take her snacks. Blue is very intelligent. Um, she's She was second in line in the pecking order and then she got really sick a couple months ago. And I had to quarantine her and now I don't really know where she stands. She's probably fourth. But she's very intelligent, very calm. And then Flopsy is the best at catching flies. She's also the snack bandit. She will steal things and run off with them. But she's also very scared. And other than her little specialty, she's not the brightest crayon in the box. So this is my flock and you hear my vicious dog protecting me from the, uh, all the dangerous pedestrians in the area. But this is the flock, just so you know what the, my breeds are, how old they are, all that stuff. I'm always here for questions, so ask away. And we have more videos coming soon about how to store fresh chicken eggs and how to give a medication or if you have to give any kind of liquid to your bird, like with a syringe, like straight into their beak. I'll give you tips on how to do that, especially if you're by yourself so you only have two hands. So all that's coming soon. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama.